<laughs> it is currently 4 a.m. in the morning, and we went to sleep after our gender reveal party. And we left Hallie on the floor. We're horrible parents, I know. She's stinky, she's hungry. We're trying to get her some food, but she's scooting around right now. And to top it off at four in the morning, our girl is going into labor. We are going through it. I don't know what to do. I think mom is gonna take care of it. Today is her last day here with us right now. Um, We're gonna get uh, Tina to go use the bathroom and honestly do something like i don't know did we call the doctor and say what we wanted to do let's check let's check that really quickly okay so i don't think we have a birthing option yet i think we're going to choose to do it at home because why not you know so yeah we're going to choose this option we're going to have her try to give birth at home. So let's start home birth while we're at it. Oh my gosh, a birth emergency. Tina Lynn might be experiencing stalled labor. Keep monitoring, keep monitoring the situation. And if it doesn't improve, she might need to get an emergency C-section. Oh my goodness, honey, no. That is not what I wanted for you. Not for this pregnancy, no. So currently, Jackson is trying to help his wife feel better. We still want to go for the home birth as much as we can, but if we really have to go and get the emergency surgery, we will. But right now, I think she's doing a little bit better than she was before. Um, we're just kind of going through it. But you know what? She's a strong girl, a strong mother, and I am... Hoping that this birth goes easy for her and as quickly as possible. Thank God we have um, her mother here for this, helping taking care of Hallie. So that's just like another stress level that's like, they don't have to worry about, you know? But on the bright note, look who's awake at 5 in the morning after her emergency bath because she pooped her pants. And was left on the floor, of course, you know. She's so cute. I do love her very much. Oh. This would have been such a beautiful moment if she did not have this ginormous hat on. But you know what? I wasn't thinking about that. Maybe. But it's too late to change it. But look at look at her stretch marks. How cute. Oh my goodness. And ignore the smelly dishes behind them. But we are about to call the midwife because I think she's maybe like six um, centimeters dilated. We don't know though. We'll have to see when the midwife comes. This, you're doing great. Just keep pushing. Your husband is here. I know it's rough. It's so rough for her. She's going through it right now. There you go. There you go. Turn over. Look at him. He's like, oh my. You're doing great. You're doing great, honey. Um, so <laughs> we have twins. Um, uh, yeah, that's basically what happened. We, we have twins and I'm not ready for it. And I am not going to lie. I'm a little stressed. Uh, I forgot to change the color of the cribs. So we'll do that eventually. But I want to introduce you guys to our twins. This right here is Laura. Um, it just is pronounced Laura. Spelled Laura, but I pronounce it Laura. Greenberg, the eldest of the twins, and then the youngest of the twins, which is Marlene Lynn Greenberg. She is named after, or Mar not Marlene, Marlena, sorry, Marlena. She is named after her um, grandmother from her father's side. Uh, and yeah, these are the two little girlies. We have three girls now. I'm not prepared. I'm really not. Nobody tells you how difficult raising twins are until you raise them yourself. And look at this. This is, they are crying, screeching at the top of their lungs at 6 a.m. in the morning. Well, I don't have the time. Your mommy doesn't have the time. But I get it. You're hungry. I get it. You're hungry. I'm sorry. But I moved the girls into um, the guest room because I didn't want them to wake up their sleeping sister in the middle of the floor 
Um, but once they become like infants, that's when I'll put them into this room with uh, the sister. It is, I think it's her birthday too, right? Yes, it is her birthday today. Oh my gosh. Okay, so we're definitely going to have to throw a little bit of a birthday party. It is very overwhelming. But we'll do what we can. We'll actually just invite family and friends over. We won't have a birthday. Yeah, that's what we'll do. We'll invite families and friends over. So sorry, guys. It was completely my bad. But um, the audio didn't... Uh, what's the word? Didn't record as well when I was um, recording her birthday. So here she is. This is our little Hallie as a toddler. I didn't get to record her blowing out her cake. The audio was messed up. Also, the video was cut off short. I'm not sure what's going on. I think it's my headphones doing that, but oh, oh, she's sad now, but this is her. Oops, isn't she absolutely adorable? She is literally so cute. I do love, I, I love her so much. But anywho, let's bring her up and get her to play with, actually, here, let's just bring this over here. Let's get her to play with her toys up here for now. And I don't know why she's still here. Oh, what is this? Work revealed. Little singer. Aw, Hallie really loves to sing. Toddlers who are little singers enjoy singing and tend to sing at random times throughout the day. Oh my goodness, Hallie. I thought you went up there to go play, but I guess not. Well, how about you... You and your dad spend some time together. Why is my thing out here? Oh, that's right. I took a photo. I'll show you guys. Hold up. Let's affection. Oh, where's the... Oh, here it is. Play. Okay, let me move this back. New family dynamic when it comes to Jackson and Hallie. A sense of order seems to be... Ab no! Oh, with a strict family dynamic, the older Sim will ask the younger Sim to do things like clean more... Um, I feel like he's very loving. Oh no, no, this is not it. No, I don't think he's strict with her. He's very loving to her. He's always been very patient and loving to Hallie. Like, look at this. He doesn't want to be like his father, you know what I mean? Like, he doesn't want to be difficult. He's a very good father, loves taking care of his daughters. Oh, guys, they're absolutely so cute. So Hallie is just having her dinner. Um, she's having ra ravioli, I think that's what that is tonight. And her mom is just, you know, catching up on some reality TV, you know, um, right before bed, I think. I don't know if the interaction for sleeping toddlers would be different from the normal sleeping toilets that I know. So we'll have to see, but isn't she just adorable? Um, Her eyes are actually naturally blue, but, oh, Hallie. Her eyes are naturally blue, but there's a glitch going on where um, when I get out of create a sim, her eyes turn a different color. So if you guys know what's causing that problem, do let me know, but our girl naturally have blue eyes, so don't get that twisted. Oh, <laughs> reading her to sleep. Oh, look how cute Howley is, guys. Oh, look at the smile. Oh, oh my goodness. That's so cute. I love that. Oh, she's so cute. Hallie earned the early riser. Hallie seems to naturally rise with the sun. Early rise riser toddlers, oh my god, that's a mouthful, are more likely to wake up when the sun comes up, so so long as they're already gotten enough rest. Wow, okay. Look at her go. She's up, and she's up in a good mood too. So why don't we... I... I think her- here, just play with some dolls for now. I'm gonna buy her some more toys, and I'm gonna pretend it's from her grandparents. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie to you guys, Marlena is a very difficult infant. Like, I'm not gonna lie. Uh, let's go to her thing. Okay, fine, sure. But Marlena is so difficult. 
she keeps crying. She doesn't know when to stop. Like, really. And then, um, Laura is just pretty good. Alright, let's see what's going on here. See, trusting the universe. Oh, Oh, yeah. When she aged up, she did get the, um... The top-notch infant. So Hallie is top-notch. This infant has been loved and well cared for. So that's why she got that. And then I guess she's tuberculosis immune. Let's go. Uh, and then she's a messy eater. This toddler is a little extra messy around the food time. Toddlers with this quirk are more likely to cause messes while eating their food. Of course, of course. Of course. All right, everyone, I'm going to be ending the episode here. I know it's going to be a pretty short episode, but um, I'm going through some glitches with my headphones, so it's a little hard to record, but I will see you guys in the next video. I did go ahead and aged up the two twins because it was their birthday and I was getting tired of them crying all the time. So now they're officially infants and I'm going to go download a whole bunch of CC and give them a little bit of a makeover and then in the next episode you guys will get to see what the twins look like so i'm super excited for that hope you guys enjoy this video and i'll see you guys in the next one don't forget to hit that like button subscribe if you haven't already comment down below and i'll see you guys later bye